What's going on guys, EHP Labs athlete Zach Purney here and I'm super excited to announce that EHP have just dropped a brand new product, Oxy Reds. So we're gonna to talk today about the differences between Oxy Reds and Oxy Greens. If you haven't heard of Oxy Greens before, you must be living under a rock because this is the product that I swear broke EHP Labs' website. It was just ridiculously out of stock all the time. People couldn't get enough of it. And there's no mystery why. Oxy Greens is the nicest, most delicious tasting greens on the market and it has no grassy aftertaste. Often if you're buying greens, they always taste, uh, considering it always tastes a bit like lawnmower clippings, but Oxy Greens is delicious and I think it's very easy for people to just consume and make a part of the daily routine because it does taste so nice and it is very healthy and it's just a great all round supplement. So we'll get into a little bit about both of these. If you do love greens, you are gonna absolutely love Oxy Reds. So essentially a bit about Oxy Reds. This product is designed to improve the health of your heart and circulatory system. It is a vitality supplement. So it has antioxidants to help fight diseases. It also has just reds. It has three grams of red superfoods in here. So I'll see if I can remember what you have in here. We have beetroot, carrot, dragon fruit, pomegranate, acai, rhubarb, Irish moss powder. I don't know what Irish moss powder is, but it sounds intriguing. Strawberry, cranberry, and raspberry. So three grams of red superfoods, your total daily intake of red. So improving your body's heart and cardiovascular health and performance, which is great. Now, you don't need to take this one uh, straight away in the morning. This one is like a whenever you like throughout the day. If you want to take it a couple of hours before exercise, you'll get a lot of the effects from beetroot um, in terms of the uh, performance effects. So that's, that's what I like to do, really, really good. We have three flavors of this one, I'll quickly show you. We have fruit explosion, we have raspberry, which is insane. Raspberry is, I swear, is next level. And forest berries, all really, really delicious, but raspberry is my, my go-to and Oxy Greens. Now, you're probably thinking, what is the difference? Can I take both? Do I need one? What's kind of the go? So Oxy Greens is your anti-bloat supplement. It is basically designed to improve your gut health, give you more nutrients, and also help your body absorb the nutrients from your food. So Oxy Greens is a great all-rounder. It's your total daily intake of greens, and then Oxy Reds is your total daily intake of reds. Oxy Greens is best taken first thing in the morning, just to try and help fight the bloat and give your body everything it needs first thing. Otherwise, you can take it with food, that's also good. Oxy Reds is better taken either in the afternoon because you can get some kind of like an energy or performance effect, not stimulation, it has no caffeine in there, uh, but I like to take this one a couple of hours just before my workout. So usually for me, that's like, I take that with lunch or in between lunch and dinner. Now, considering only one in 10 people actually eat their daily requirements of fruit and veg, these products to me is kind of a no-brainer. You have your daily intake of greens, daily intake of reds, and they just taste so good. You literally wanna keep drinking them all the time, especially if you're adhering to like a diet or a fat loss diet, it makes it very easy to stick to your diet because you actually have a really delicious, kind of tastes like a treat, a little bit of filling. I don't know why, but it kind of fills me up in between meals. If I have it after lunch, I kind of don't really get hungry until dinner. So it's a really nice kind of in-between meal thing as well. And you just feel better taking this stuff too. You just genuinely feel better. So by the sounds of it, you're probably realizing that these products are pretty much ideal for everyone, unless you're eating all of the aforementioned fruit and veg that I said earlier, the beetroot, carrot, dragon fruit, pomegranate, acai, rhubarb, Irish moss, powder, strawberry, raspberry, Cranberry. If you're eating all those then and all of the greens that are in here, maybe you'll be sweet, but I just, I mean, I don't think most people are eating that. As I said earlier, there's like 10% of people who are actually doing that. Uh, so if you're not, if you need a bit of help, this is pretty much good for everyone, but there are some situations and circumstances that might be more applicable to you. So I'm gonna run through the top six problems that I, I usually see in health and fitness and how each one of these might be a little solution for that. So starting with the first one is that your cardio sucks. Maybe your cardio performance is bad, cardiovascular fitness doesn't seem to be up where it should be, you just started to improve your cardio. Obviously you need cardiovascular health, like you need the cardiovascular fitness and practice to do that. You can't just take this and go, all of a sudden I'm healthy. You need to have a part of cardio. So you gotta actually get your cardio going, get a good routine going, just get the heart rate up a little bit. But here's where Oxy Reds will step in. So beetroot and is a nitric oxide precursor. So the beetroot powder in this especially will help widen blood vessels, improve your circulation, and it does improve uh, performance in cardio. So uh, workout performance will increase when you take Oxy Reds. That's why I like to take it just that few hours before a session uh, because of all those ingredients in there. Now, problem number two is that you want to get a better immune system. Maybe problem number three, you're pretty much always sick. So a lot of people want to improve the health of their body and immune system and want to prevent sickness altogether. So here's where both of these products can come into play because if you improve your gut health, you will improve your immune system. So Oxy Greens is great for that. But the key here and the real king is Oxy Reds. So Oxy Reds is loaded with antioxidants, such as lycopene, we have vegan astaxanthin in here, and also resveratrol. So antioxidants help fight uh, oxidation, which is tissue damage and also a culprit in early onset of diseases. So Oxy Reds is the ideal for helping prevent disease where possible and the breakdown of your body's tissues. So 
That's why this is a health and vitality supplement. It's, it is a performance one, kind of like as a little extra, but at the core of it, this is a health one. So if you're bolstering your immune system, you're preventing sickness, and also you have good gut health, you're pretty much ticking all the boxes of what you possibly can do. Another problem is that you are always bloated. Now, bloating affects everyone, but typically women more so than men. I still experience it from time to time. Oxygreens is pretty much a king for reducing bloating. So it has prebiotic fibers in here green banana, green kiwi, and also inulin fiber. These act to promote the good bacteria, the probiotics in your gut, which will lead to a healthier gut microbiome. So if you've never taken a greens before, uh, this you'll be very surprised with how nice this tastes. Oxygreens will improve and fix any microbiome imbalances by promoting regularity, actually reducing bloating, and also increasing the amount of good bacteria in your gut. If you have had other greens powders, you're probably a bit cautious and wary because usually they taste horrible. Usually greens powders taste disgusting and like lawnmower clippings and grass. And Oxy Greens doesn't even have a grassy aftertaste. So this one is the pineapple. Mm, and it is genuinely sweet. It tastes like health because you can taste the green, but it is really, really sweet and there's no grassy aftertaste. Like it's delicious. It's one of the appeals of this product. You can drink it all the time and it literally every single day and it feels actually like it's something you look forward to it's not a chore so that's why i think they've absolutely nailed it with this one another problem is the fact that you can't hit your nutrition goals and micronutrients now as we mentioned there are not a lot of australians actually hitting their micronutrient goals and it is very hard to when you actually look at what is in food and what most people eat on a daily basis it's very difficult so that's where greens particularly in terms of your green and vegetable intake it will tick all the boxes now i know a lot of people don't particularly love eating greens and even when they do they don't eat a large variety. So you might be thinking, oh, but I eat a lot of broccoli, but that's it. But then you hit the broccoli micronutrients, but you lose a lot of the other ones, like the kale, spinach. Actually, bear with me, I'll read them to you. Inulin, barley grass, wheatgrass, green banana, kale, spinach, spirulina, celery, kiwi fruits, doji extract, chlorella, blueberry, broccoli seed extract, kelp. It's impossible to eat all that in one day unless you like love vegetables and go crazy for variety. But this will ensure you tick all the boxes and you basically make sure you're getting enough micronutrients from your food as well. Now, another problem people face is that when they do taste these powders, they are usually sickened by the greens powders on the market. And as I mentioned, oxygreens does not have that problem. So the wheatgrass or spirulina and barley grass usually carry a very nasty aftertaste, but EHP labs, they don't call them labs for nothing. The, the flavor labs where EHP flavor this stuff, I've seen it and it is insane and impressive and they do such a good job. So you will be safe with whatever flavor you choose. These new ones, the Oxy Red, Fruit Explosion, Raspberry, and Forest Berries. Raspberry is my favorite, definitely get that. And all of Oxy Greens are phenomenal, but pineapple is also my favorite. So let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to try. If you haven't had one of these, which one you've just grabbed, or what your favorite flavor of greens is. That is it for this video. I'm Zach Perna, and we'll see you in the next video.